What's up, what's up? Welcome back to Kai Wave TV and today we're going to be reacting to uh, the channel Spud Sports giving Jujutsu Kaisen characters NBA comparisons. I'm very excited about this video because Jujutsu Kaisen is one of my new favorite animes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. In this video, I'm going to compare which NBA players best match the characters on the show Jujutsu Kaisen. Inspiration for this video idea came from Matchup Media. The rules for the selections are that I can only choose post 2000s players and only choose characters shown in the first two seasons of the show. Obviously, a spoiler warning for those still watching the show or reading the manga. Yuji. The player that best matches Yuji is Luka Doncic. Really? Both were introduced young with lots of potential. Both grew in their abilities and now are loved by their fan base. Both seem to make magic happen in unlikely and unfavorable situations. And lastly, both have a signature move that they're known for. Yuji with his black flash yeah. and Luka with his iconic step back. Megumi. The player that best matches Megumi is Tyrese Maxey. When Megumi was introduced, he was seen as a side character, but now that he's got some more time on screen, we realize how strong he is. Both Megumi and Maxi have lots of potential in the future. Megumi with his new domain expansion, and Maxi with his 50 point game. Ooh, Nobara. The player that best matches with Nobara is... Oh shit, hold on. I just realized that I'm probably gonna butcher a lot of these names, so go easy on me in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, the player that best matches with Nobara is Kelsey Plum. Both are known for being confident and having guts, and just like Nobara, Kelsey loves to trash talk others. Gojo. I wanted to make my list yeah. different from matchup medias in every aspect, but they chose Steph Michael Curry? Jordan for Gojo. Oh, that's and while I one. do see the similarities, I think a better player match would be Kobe Bryant. Both Gojo and Kobe got that asshole attitude. They mock their opponents and dominate above everyone else's level. Kobe with his fadeaway and Gojo with his domain always embarrass the competition and remind us viewers who is the honored one. Nanami. The player that best matches up with Nanami is Kawhi Leonard. Nanami lost someone close to him at a young age and it made him the serious person we see in the show. Kawhi also faced similar adversity growing up and is often ridiculed for being perceived as an emotionless terminator because of this trauma. Yuta. The character that best matches with Yuta is James Harden. Yuta is very like powerful, face. and the manga constantly reminds like us that he's the next up in though. power after Gojo. Yet despite all the hype we hear about Yuta, he never shows up when needed in the big moments. Aside from the Jujutsu Kaisen movie, we don't really get to see much of Yuta. He could have been a huge help in the Shibuya arc, but he never showed up. Harden, despite all the talent he has in the regular season, never seems to replicate the same success in the playoffs when his team needs it the most. Maki. Max. The character that best represents Maki, in my opinion, is Brianna Stewart. Maki starts off being an average side character, but as the story develops, she turns into one of the strongest and most badass good guys. Brianna Stewart has also climbed her way to the top of her respective field and earned various accolades such as two-time WNBA champion, two-time finals MVP, two-time league MVP, and five all-star team selections. Toto. Toto is one of my favorite characters on the show, so I had to pick one of my favorite players to match him with. To me, Toto is the equivalent of anime Ooh. Kevin Garnett. Both of these guys live for really? the fight and take That's thrill true. in meaningful competition. But Kevin Garnett is Just famous like KG, for trash talking. Toto will talk smack in the middle of battle to motivate himself and fire up his teammates. That's true. Okay, now for the villains. villains. The first villain on my list is Toji. In my mind, the best match for a guy like Toji is Russell Westbrook. Neither of the two have any special abilities that make them stand out but instead they have crazy athleticism that makes them deadly. Furthermore, Toji and Westbrook are always on timing. Day or night, you want smoke? Then these guys got a barbecue. Toji and Westbrook are the first to trash talk and pick fights. Next up is Sukuna. This one was really hard to choose because there aren't really any evil guys in the NBA that have committed yeah. crimes like him. 
So for Sukuna, the best match I could come up with is Giannis Antetokounmpo. The reason I chose mm, Giannis is because when I think of a guy who strikes fear into his opponents, I thought of the freak. Giannis is known for his physicality, and players must constantly be aware of his presence no matter where he is on the court. That's a fact. Maharaga was recently summoned on the show, and we were made aware of two things about his character. First is his giant size and huge muscles. Second is his wheel's ability to adapt to anything. When I think of size, strength, and adaptability, the first guy I think of is LeBron James. LeBron has shown his adaptability throughout his career by learning to play on new teams in new positions. He changed his play style to reduce the likelihood of injuries in order to last longer in the league. The only guy who can lift a candle to a giant like Maharaga is the king himself. Ghetto. Ghetto was an obvious choice for me. Before he met his end, he made tough decisions that he thought was the best for himself. He changed teams and became seen as evil to his friends for his betrayal. The player that best fits that description is Kevin Durant. KD and mm. Ghetto are both high up in the rankings of abilities when compared to their peers. Both made tough decisions and never looked back, instead embracing the new persona that was placed on themselves. Plus, both got the stick figure type build, so to me, they kind of look alike too. Jogo. Now I hate Jogo. I didn't even want to talk about his dumbass. But since I have to, <laughs> yeah. I matched Jogo with a guy who's always getting embarrassed by the greats. I chose Chris Paul. I think we'll now, say no Dylan shade Brooks. on CP. It just seems that whenever he's matched up against the legends of today's era, he falls short. While it's fun to poke jokes at Chris, the reality is that he is actually a really good basketball player himself. Oh, Chris yeah. would smoke me in a one-on-one, -on -one, no doubt in my mind. Jogo deals with the same frustrations, as he himself is a really strong sorcerer, but gets constantly embarrassed by Sukuna and Gojo. Now as a quick bonus, uh, Haruta, everyone dislikes this guy, so I'm making him the Grayson Allen of the show. And that was Jujutsu Kaisen characters as NBA players. That was really good. I, I like his creative. I really do like it, but shout out to him. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And peace.